How to run a custom Ansible execution environment? Using an Ansible execution environment is the latest technology to maintain up to date the Python dependency of the Ansible collection without interfere with your Linux system. It's the evolution of Python virtual environment. This initial configuration sometimes is a roadblock for some Ansible users. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible execution environment. The Ansible execution environment is a container image that can be utilized as an Ansible control node. It's the latest technologies Des developed by Red Hat to simplify the automation process. The main advantage is a standard environment for development and production images using container technologies creating portable automation runtimes. This technology supersedes manual Python virtual environment, Ansible module dependency and bubble wrap. Experienced users are probably familiar with a lot of challenges maintaining custom Python virtual environment and Ansible module dependencies. Enterprise users of Ansible automation platform were familiar with limiting execution job under bubble wrap in order to isolate processes. The creation is performed by the Ansible Builder tool. Ansible Builder produces a directory that acts as a build context for the container image build, containing the container file, along with any other files that need to be added to the image. On the other hand, the execution is performed by the Ansible Runner tool. The Ansible Runner enables you to run the execution environment as a container in the current machine. It is basically taking care that the content run as expected. Demo time. How to run an Ansible execution environment using the Ansible-Runner command line tool. I'm going to show you how to run the custom my underscore ee Ansible execution environment using the Ansible-Runner tool. Are you ready? Let's have a fun! Welcome to my editor. First of all, let me show you that I'm using one localhost inventory and one ping YML playbook that only use the Ansible ping module. Welcome to my terminal. This is my Ansible controller machine and first of all, let me try to run the ansible-runner command. It's not installed, so this is a real machine, so Red Hat Enterprise Linux, so let me install using dnf install ansible-runner command. This machine has already enabled the subscription for Ansible Automation Platform Chudo2, as you can see. So all these packages are installed from this additional repository. Cool, now Ansible Runner Chudo2 is available, so let me try to uh, run it and yes, we have some uh, help about uh, the, uh, all the parameters. I found a bit confusing, so let me try to uh, run with you. So uh, the run parameter is the one to actually execute a playbook with dash p, we specify the name of a playbook, in my case ping YML, and with a dash dash container image, we specify the my underscore ee. Okay, uh, I specify also the inventory, maybe is not equal, but we need a space, and okay, is missing the private data deal. This is the how it stores the execution context. Well, after Trimming all the parameters, we had a successful execution. This execution is uh, inside the container image, as you can see, and we got a successful test connection. This is a great result. So basically, Ansible Runner ran the code 
inside the container and not inside the Ansible controller machine. So in this way, we are able to run an Ansible execution environment. Yay! Now you know how to run an Ansible execution environment using the Ansible-Runner command line tool. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. See us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!